Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mangesh, and in this video, we are covering this star command. So, I have taken some options in my document file. It's here. Star command used to create an archival in Unix. So, archival means what? Uh, you have seen in Windows, uh, there are multiple softwares are available to zip the files or archive the files. Windows RAR, one more example. Zip is also one more example. What you're doing there? multiple files uh, you are storing into one file and that one file called as your zip file or archive file so same thing is available in uh, unix also in previous video we have checked how to use that zip command okay and uh, in this video we will cover the archival part how to create an archival now, now this archival will not compress your size once you create archival then you can easily zip it with the help of gzip but uh, let's see how to archive multiple files in a single file so tar command will come in the picture to create this archival and uh, these are the important options of the tar command if you want to see the uh, history of tar like a uh, man page uh, the command is man tar then you can see there are multiple options of tar tar then these options we will use this x is used to extract then delete append all these things we will cover in this practical session so I have taken some options over here. C used to create V verbose or view means you no know, sometimes we don't need to use that V options while creating an archival or while extracting an archival. Then F specific files which you need to add under that archival. Uh, T if you have an archival present in Unix, how many files are already available in that archival? To check the list of the that files, you can use that option T. X for extraction and r is used to append like uh, already uh, i have 10 files in my archival i want to add one more files into it 11th one so i will use that r option existing archival you can add one more file into it or many more so we will see it practically how it will work now uh, let me go back to my home directory uh, i am in my home directory here i have multiple files txt files are there then uh, directories are also available then dot sh files are also available so let me create an archival first tar is a command which we will use c option because we are going to create this is not mandatory v but you can add it f specific files after that you can give the output file name uh, i will give output file name as output output dot tar now why i'm mentioning this because i know that with the help of tar command i am creating this tar file and under this star file now i will add my files so from the current directory i if i want to add all files i will put star like this so i have added all the files and uh, directory into it but there are some directory not uh, added because of permissions issue okay from the current directory what you have present over here i have added everything ls minus lrt if you see under output dot tar these all files are already there only the files which doesn't have any kind of permission those are not getting added so this is what the output you have created output dot tar okay so let me add some specific files i will add only text files so what i'm going to do is let me remove this uh, output dot tar okay uh, tar cbf then my output file name is a 1234.tar under it i want to add 123.txt then xyz.txt then uh, abc.txt is also there all these files are i'm adding into a archival then uh, 234 so this is what the syntax star you are creating an archival this is what your output file name and these are the input files which will get added into this now you have added these four files let me execute this Yes, four files are added. LS minus LRT. You can see your archival is here. If you want to see how many files are there, then I will use tbf one two three four dot tar. So these are the files already exist into your archival. Now you can delete those files from your current directory also because you already have a backup. These files will be stored into this. Then you can remove all those files. Unnecessary. It is consuming your disk space but if you see the size it's only zero 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 so 
now what i want to do is uh, i want to append like i want to add backup one dot txt backup dot two txt triple one dot txt these files these three files i want to add into a same archival then for append purpose there is an option r will come in the picture now see tar rvf uh, then same file one two three four dot tar under this file i want to append backup one dot txt backup two dot txt and triple one dot txt these files i'm adding plus minus lrt look at the size previously it was 10 240 now it is 10 240 but previously this file size is very it's a zero but let's see are, are files are added or not with the help of pdf command tar p option used to display the files from the archival and uh, let me give the archive file name over here see this files you have added if you want to delete this entire file you can use rm command to delete this but i want to delete only these four files from this archival then so let me go to my document and i'll show you some syntaxes over here what i have done is tar command i have used here cvf options let me increase the font size you'll get it uh, this is what my output tar and these are the input files i have added into a output dot tar in that archival okay and there is a too much difference between this archival and zip because in zip command we can zip that file also it will compress the size but it it will not compress the size in uh, archival uh, once that archival get created then go ahead and uh, use gzip command to zip it then uh, we have a tar tvf tv t, t option i said that it used to display the files from the archival so it will show you how many files are av uh, available into this file display the list of the file from the archival append the archival just now we have seen the practical if i want to add some more files into the same archival then this is what the command we can use rvf uh, that r option you can use for the append purpose then uh, now uh, let me delete the files which i already archived uh, what i'm going to use uh, 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 let me create one more archival uh, i'm deleting this existing one for so I am creating one more archival and uh, in it uh, C let me use only C and F these are the actual main options C for create and F for specific files output dot tar this is what my output file name and in it I want to add all text file so whatever text files present under the same directory huh? right now I am in which directory I am in Mangesh home Mangesh whatever text files are there all got archived into this ls minus lrt look at that output dot tar is already available now what i'm going to do is i will remove all those text files because i already have a backup into this file so let me remove all text files with the help of rm command you can easily remove all those text files see you already removed all those txt files right uh, now uh, i want to add all those files which is ending with dot sh so now I am appending the same task and I am adding this file, this file and this file into a output dot for task. So if you are appending it then tar rf output dot tar in it what you require you want to add all these files. See there is no error tar pvf display file from that archival. So yes, those files are also added. Now you can remove all those files tar because you already have a backup. Tar means all dot sh. The files which is ending with dot sh, it will get deleted. It was asking me to delete. I have this. Yes. Why the file not got deleted? Huh, it got deleted. Okay. If you want to add this log file also, you can do it. Now I want all text file back into the same directory. Now it's time to archive, uh, extract that archival, extract the files from that archival. Uh, if you want only any one file, like let me display the files from the archival first. Uh, I want only one file, which is backup1.txt. Uh, I want to extract. So 
star x command will come in the picture you can use vf v not compulsory verbose option you can use it no then uh, output dot star from this file i want to archive this one so put please put the name of that file which you want to archive backup one dot txt now see that file came here and you, now you can easily open that file cat and backup like that if you want to archive all files just simply do tar c uh, x v f or only x f option output dot tar so ls minus lrt you can see all files are extracted over here if you want to extract all those files into another directory so give that path actually uh, let me add home under home directory i have a uh, I'm getting some okay. Uh, I'm not able to enter over there, but what I'm going to do is I'll go to remesh directory first because I want all files over here, which is there in that tab. Uh, let me remove everything from this directory. Uh, I'll remove all the files and directory. Okay this directory is empty now and here i want to uh, extract that uh, archival so tar xvf uh, that file is present under home directory mongesh output dot tar i will hit enter so after hitting enter all those files are extracted over here which is available into this file in my present working directory where i want the extractions means i want all those files in my present working directory so reason i have hit the command like this okay files in this way you can do the practice of tar command and uh, these are the options are very important so we learn what is the x everything in a small letter now one more thing is pending what you know how to delete the entire uh, output dot tar but if you want to delete some files from that output dot tar like uh, let's go to 